Okay, in today's YouTube video, we'll be reviewing the Cabo Mantis King GT. Now, for all those that are in the market for a scooter, there's plenty of them. And um, long story short, this is a pretty serious scooter, I must say. Uh, the reason why I like it and why I opted to get it is because not only does it fold, but also locks into one place. All right. It's got more than enough power to basically get you from point A to point B. Um, I could vouch that uh, it can definitely do 43 miles an hour. Look at NYPD right there. Interesting. NYPD. All right, so we're at level five, dual motor. We're in Brooklyn, New York. And I'm essentially going to get some chopped cheese. And uh, yeah, review this Cabo Mantis King GT. It's dual motor. It's dual motor. Excuse me. Sorry about that. It does 42 miles an hour. Yes, there are. Yes, there are uh, bike paths and whatnot. Oh, uh, but I opt to go on the street because the bike paths are just complete shit. The speed limit here is 25. We're doing 37 miles an hour. about having a scooter is is you could cut the line and run red lights obviously I don't condone such activity but you can it's the beauty of it uh, all right A little peel out You'll have the occasional Karen beep at you, tailgate you. But for the city, you don't need anything faster than this. On the red light, woo! 37 miles an hour. Brakes are incredible. It's got hydraulic brakes. ABS if you need it.
turn over here. Also, another good thing about having a scooter is you, you could technically ride on the sidewalk if need be. Fucking ran a red light, dickhead. Come on. Really? You'll have the occasional Karens basically just do what they do. Like this dickhead in front of me. I have no clue why he's doing what he's doing. But... Do not try this at home. Fucking cold. It's freezing outside. the occasional Karens walk in front of you just because I don't know oh. but not for nothing it's got turn signals a horn lights with the rainbow colors and shit like that Pretty lit. Uh, this is not your ordinary scooter. Was that? Oh boy. You? What's up? Let me get three chopped cheese. Hero? Alright, we're gonna pause the video real quick. Is it still blinking? Yeah. Uh, chopped cheese with everything on it. Yeah, on a hero. No jalapenos, no peppers. No jalapenos, no peppers, please. No onion, no peppers, no jalapenos, none of that. Everything on it except no peppers or anything like that. I get uh, stomach acid or whatever you want to call it. Appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, only a New York City thing. Chopped cheese. I'd be coming through over here. So yeah, um, the Cabo Mantis King GT. Uh, like I said, uh, it's dual motor. That's 43 miles an hour says it does 50 miles to the range if you drive like a maniac like i do you'll probably get like half that uh, i'm sure if you have on level one single motor you will get relatively close to those ranges that it, it says currently i have one quad lock 
and one Fugazi one, which I have to take off because no matter how hard I tighten this thing, um, yeah, but I put my phone on there. This thing folds up as a locking mechanism right here, and you could literally carry it with one hand. So um, you could throw in the trunk, it weighs like 80 pounds or something like that. Um, I could easily carry it with uh, one hand, but that's just me. I'm six foot three, 260, 270 pounds, depending on how big of a meal I ate. It's got adjustable suspension. Um, it does have tubed tires. People would argue that tubeless is better, but when it comes to changing out the tires, it's a lot easier and simpler. You could see you could like YouTube how to change the tires and you'll see how easy it is to change the tires. Whereas with tube tires, you got like, yeah, it's long story short with the off-road tires, you're not going to have any uh, punctures or anything like that unless you like literally drive over a minefield of like nails and whatnot. Uh, does get up to speed. Uh, so yeah lights this is what it looks like with lights let's turn it on pretty nice it's got a headlight and it flickers turn signals and so forth and it's got a passcode to essentially enter in and utilize the the uh scooter let's turn it off all right let's cut it can you double bag it of course. thank you Can you, uh, oh, I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Gotta double bag it. Don't want to mess up my expensive backpack. No. Alright. <sighs> and we're off. The beauty about this spot is, is it's got. Uh, it's got a exit towards the back pretty lit I took the front entrance just cause it was on King's Highway and it was a lot more hectic white lining and whatnot all right so Uh, da, 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 da. All right, so it's got mode one, mode two, mode three, mode four, mode five. It's currently on single motor. If you press and hold up, it turns into dual motor. So if it's if it's one motor, uh, it's rear wheel drive. If it's dual motor, then obviously two wheel drive. Some scooters, they're front wheel drive when it's on single motor. Um, but yeah. Opa. And we're off. You obviously got to be careful with pedestrians, with cars. I've been driving and riding for a while, so and though you might think I'm being reckless, in reality, I'm not. That kid's an idiot. Almost got ran over. I think it's 
time to turn on the lights. Okay, that's a turning lane. And we're off. So yeah, you don't have to necessarily drive like a maniac. You can drive amongst traffic, which I'll be doing on the way back. Ugh. God. But yeah, you're definitely visible in this thing. Lights up like a Christmas tree. Um, I initially bought this from uh, Fluid Free Ride, and they essentially gave me the first batch of uh, the Cowboy Wolf King GT, which had underlying known issues with the controller. And uh, they didn't give me any promises that uh, they'd give me the latest batch, which fixed all the bugs. So I ended up getting a refund. But then I finally uh, opted to buy it again, not from Fluid, but from Voro Motorsports. And yeah, they definitely have their shit down packed. I don't understand why people are honking. I'm definitely going faster than they are, but yet they want to be fucking Karens. Excuse my language. But yeah, driving amongst traffic. Speed limit in New York City, vision zero is 25. City cyclists, pedestrians always have the right of way. Uh, all right, anyways, moving on to the ride. Rides are like perfectly soaks up any potholes. Definitely not your regular commuter scooter. Fuck, I forgot to put my uh, gloves on them. My hands are freezing. The brakes on this thing is phenomenal. Definitely got a... Uh, Learn how to do emergency braking on this thing because this thing will definitely throw you off the scooter. Hydraulic brakes, which reminds me of uh, my first scooter I had, which was the Titan, uh, the High Boy Titan Pro. 
and yeah, it had it had uh, this brakes and everything, but the braking mechanism was uh, was mechanical, no different than a bicycle. So. So the brakes would work as hard, would work as good as how hard you could actually squeeze on the brake levers. Hence why hydraulic brakes come through clutch. Because I could use one finger and that suffices. Yeah, going back, uh, Voro Motors, uh, they definitely sell you the most updated Cabo Mantis King GT. Like for instance, the first batches, like I mentioned, had controller issues and all sorts of issues. And yeah, they sell you the most updated version of it. And I actually went to the location to buy it and yo, their service was pretty lit. Not only did they unbox it for me and put it together but they also made sure that the tire pressure was up to par and they realized i was a big guy so one thing that they did was they actually stiffened the uh suspension all the way because they just knew they're like okay this guy's a big guy let's stiffen up the suspension all the way so i don't bottom out so yeah uh the trip we took probably would have taken me 15 minutes but with the scooter can't go wrong uh all right guys like comment subscribe it is freezing outside i'm out